Alright everyone, welcome back to First Aid Kids. Today on our itinerary will be a St. John sling. So, a St. John sling is almost as close to an arm sling. However, the hand is elevated at this position. We elevate the hand in case of bleeding, to stop bleeding, and to support the injured limb. Alright, so let us start. So, I'm going to put my apex at Joaquin's lower um, elbow here and cover the bandage. This is opposite from what we did in the arm sling where we put it behind, but now we put it in front. The other flap, we're going to bring it behind. Turn around Joaquin please. This time, we bring it around the hand and meet it with the other bandage here. So now, we tie our St. John's signature reef knot, left over right and right over left. And we always tighten our bandages after we're done and clean them up to prevent them from getting snagged and caught on miscellaneous objects moving around. Okay, Joaquin, turn around please. Now, always in St. John, remember, we clean our bandages, so take the apex, fold it around, and we fold it in. Now, that's clean. Turn around, Joaquin. Now, leave it stay here. And now, we have to show three fingers. Three fingers. One, two, three. The purpose we show three fingers, three fingers, Joaquin, the purpose we show three fingers is to check for CRT, most commonly known as capillary refill time. This is to ensure the casualties bandaging is not too tight and no shock occurs. Alright, so that will be it for our St. John's Sling. Thank you very much.